Yeah, and we but, talked about that out there, you know, it's yeah. like, okay, you're coyote hunting or we turkey hunt out there too. Yeah. And it's like, oftentimes you'll see in our comments, like people throwing some shade, like, why are you carrying on a turkey hunt, you know? And the answer is simple, like, why not? You know, it, yeah. it, it's not always a cougar or a bear or a moose that you're scared of. Mm-hmm. It's the people. And I think you brought up a great point out there when we did just a little field interview, whatever, of like, if you come up on somebody on private land that's doing something, they know they're not supposed to be there, you know, that, you know, the property may butt up against some dicey areas or right, right. whatever. Yeah. Why not? I mean, we make a comfortable holster. Mm-hmm. Why not? Even if you have another firearm, like I, I can tell you, I'm a lot better at quick scoping with my pistol than I am my rifle. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, no, for sure, dude. Like, it's a that's a reality yet we we face in this world. It's not just about you know that that animal. So. Well, and it, it's with the animals. It's kind of that same situation. You're caught off guard in a corner doing something you're not supposed to. That right. That's most of the time an animal is going to be aggressive. Yeah. You know, like you come up on it, scare it, and it's got yeah. to react or whatever. Same thing with that person that's in there doing something, you know, they're utilizing your property for a grow or something like that. Right. Um, you know, Dan State brought that up. You, Shout out, out to Dan. Come yeah. on, podcast, bro. Uh, you're out there and come up on a grow with some sketchy people and... Mm-hmm. I don't know. I I don't know about you, but I'd rather have a firearm. Listen, man. Uh, 